الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد so we are looking at the verbs verb can be divided in different style in different ways and there are several different categories for each of those and uh, as you know it could be thulasi or rubai three root lettered or four root lettered verbs they can only have either of those two categories and in thulasi you have about six further subclasses and they are called abwab singular of the uh, plural of bab bab literally means a door abwab is doors how many doors you can go through so there are about six different categories and you know when you put nouns together or noun and verb together you can make it into a compound and that would if it gives complete sense then it is called a jumla jumla or al jumla the sentence sentence when it gives complete sense where you can stop it stop there and the listener does not need to know anything further and jumla is of two types was there again many different ways of classification but here we are talking about jumla ismiya and jumla fi'liya al jumla tul fi'liya when it starts off the beginning part or the first part is a fi'l whereas if it is beginning with a noun it is called jumla ismiya ism and ism two parts you have revised several times that it has mubtada and khabar first part is called mubtada the subject and second part is called khabar or predicate with regards to jumla fi'liya you can have active verb or the passive verb so active or ma'roof where the fi'li ma'roof of active verb would have a fa'il a doer a subject with it doer okay and in majhul or the passive form you do not need a fa'il a doer rather the the object takes the place of fa'il hence it takes the same declension same i'rab so fa'il is in marfu state naif file or the acting file takes the same state of rafa being marfu okay and six forms that you've gone through were either so you can look at that so madhi and mudhari so we deal with ain kalima which is the middle letter of the three root lettered verbs so fa'ula we are talking about three root letters triliteral verbs so six forms so fa'ula so fa and la stay the same but if the mudari comes we we see how many forms there may be so fa fa'ula fa'ala and fa'ila so these are the three possibilities okay same three possibilities would be here so if you want to make the combinations of each of those which each of these three so three times three there are nine possibilities so in this column you could see yaf'ulu ain kalima having a dhamma ain kalima here having a dhamma fa'ula yaf'ulu fa'ala yaf'alu ain kalima having a fatha likewise in mudari a fatha fa'ila yaf'ilu so ain kalima having a kasra as it has kasra in the madhi so each of those could be found with this combination so they each of these can be with any of these three so three times three is nine so you can have that you can have that and you can have that combination you can have that combination that combination and that combination okay likewise this this and this so nine yes but luckily in arabic you do not need to worry about three of those which is this one this one and this one okay so you're left with these six which means that you have a maadi 
past form, past perfect form, with dhamma and mudari with dhamma. So that's the only combination. If Maudi had dhamma on ain kalima, like karuma, you can only have yakurumu. You cannot have ain kalima with fatha dhamma, fatha or kasra. Only dhamma. That's the only possible combination. Other two do not exist. In thulathi mujarrat. And likewise for fa'ala, if the ain kalima has fatha, they can have all three. Dhamma, fatha, kasra. Fa'ala, fa'ula. Fa'ala, fa'ala. Fa'ala, fa sorry. Fa'ala, yaf'ulu. Fa'ala, yaf'alu. Fa'ala, yaf'ilu. You can have all three possibilities. And there are different names. We'll come to that. And with fa'ila, you have two possibilities. Fa'ila, yaf'alu. Fa'ila, yaf'ilu. Okay, so all together, six possibilities. With Dhamma, only Dhamma. With Kasra, Fatha and Kasra. With Fatha, all three. Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. Okay, remember that. Same is here. This is just showing the same thing in a different way, just to make sure that you get this ingrained in your mind. Okay. And these six are then given a different title or name. So, Bab Doraba, Bab Nasara, Bab Samia, Bab Fataha, Karuma, Hasiba. They've just taken a representative verb with the same scale. So, rather than remembering Fa'ala ya Fu'ulu, Fa'ala ya Fa'ilu, Fa'ala ya Fa'ilu, they just say Bab Doraba. It makes it easy, then you do not need to say in full or write in full, rather, after every verb you can just write baad small baad or small noon or small fa so that would give you a clear idea what would mudare be in this case or madi be if it was mudare you see what i mean so that makes it easy to memorize to know to write to read rather than having to say all every time oh it's fa'la ya fa'lu bab as opposed to this is bab fataha okay so daraba yadribu fa'la ya fa'ilu scale yeah Fa'ala yaf'ulu iskil. Fa'ila yaf'alu iskil. Fa'ala yaf'alu. Fa'ula yaf'alu. Only one from this group. And hasiba, which is fa'ila yaf'alu. Okay. So these six are denoted with their representative verbs. So bab daraba, bab nasara, bab samia, bab fataha, bab karuma, bab hasiba. And there is the frequencies. So you can look at daraba. Daraba and nasara are more frequent than Samia and uh, these three together are actually about maybe 80% or so something close to that. And if you include Fataha, Yaftahu, then together they will be about 90% of verbs. They will fall in these four categories. And there are very few from this these two groups. Uh, Karuma, maybe another 7% or 3%. Hasiba. I'm just giving you an estimate. <laughs> okay because I don't know all the verbs anyways, but I'm just saying that this is, the common ones that we use are from the first four, okay? So you have, the, the way you memorize them is So, Madi, Mudari, Masdar, Ismi Fa'il, Majhul form, passive voice, and Majhul Mudare and likewise Masdar again because Madar of Majhul is different than the Masdar of Maruf, but the scale doesn't change. Madrub is Maf'ul, Amr the command, and Nahi the prohibition. So carries on with all of those Nasr Yansur, Nasr al Fahu Nasr, and Nusir Yansur, and Nasr Fadaka Mansur, and Nusir Al Amru Minu Onsur, and Nahi Anu Latansur. Samia Yasma Usama and Fahu Samia, and Sumia Yusma Usama and Fahu or Fadaka Masmur. الأمر منه اسمع والنهي عنه لا تسمع. This is how you do for each of those, and then it becomes easy, and then you can fit anything on that. So that's their framework. Passive voice, as you know, you do not have a doer there. Rather, the scale of fuila for all six categories remains the same. The mafool, which is the object, takes the place of file, and it is called naif file, naibul file. Okay, representative of the doer. So this is the scale. Fu'ila yufa'alu. They do not change. There's no six categories for six babs. For 
all six bubbles is only one category of majhul structure or the framework. It's always going to be four ila scale. Okay, so as the file is marfu, likewise a knife file takes the state of marfu because file is marfu, knife file, it is mean knife file is in place of file, take the same rafa. So shuriba, shariba, he drank. Shuriba, it was drunk. What was drunk? Al-labalu, the, the milk. The milk was drunk. So you could see that this is knife file, although this is object, but it has been given a dhamma to denote that this is in marfu state. Because this has now taken the place of file and there's no file there file is not mentioned. Who drank? We don't know. Well, the milk has been drunk though. Okay. And if you compare the two, then you would know. So, akala zaidun file. Remember, after in jumla failure, the fail comes first and then the doer. But that could be even after or after. It doesn't matter. As long as this is in marfu state, no matter which place it comes, after the fail, anything which is in marfu state tends to be the doer, marfu state. So you need to remember the marfu state for wahid or mufrat, same word, same thing, singular form. It is the tanween or one dhamma for rafa. For tasnia is ani. And for jama uh, salim, it is una. Yeah, remember that. So th that is the significance of knowing the state and you would know now you can put it in different order it will still be the same who is the who is the doer you can't say akala tufahan zaidun so it doesn't change the meaning you can't say oh actually apple ate zaid no you can't do that because the state here of maf'ul which is the mansu two fathatan that confirms that this is the the object, and this is the subject with, with Dhamma on it, in the Marfu state. So changing the order wouldn't make any difference to the meaning, unlike other languages. If you say, Z ate apple, or if you change it, apple ate Z, it will become completely different, isn't it? Okay. So you make it into Majhul form, how do you do that? You have this Fu'ila scale, Fi'il becomes, Fi'il scale is Fu'ila. Ukila, so, akala ukila, para'a uri'a, bana ya, it was actually bana ya, but you do not say ya at the end because it's difficult to, to pronounce, so the Arabs make it easy and they say bana, change it into alif to pronounce it, write the ya there just to say that it was originally ya. A majhul, when you have to do majhul, it has to come back to keep that structure, so buniya, ba'a buji'a, ghasala ghusila, nasara nusira, same scale. So these are the verbs in the ma'roof form and in majhul form here. And the doer are here, which are in marfu state. And here we have knife file, which are in marfu state as well, but they are actually object of the action. So the, the subject or the doer is not mentioned in majhul form because it is the, this is the reason why you have to use it majhul. Majhul being unknown. You do not want to disclose that. So the apple was eaten, the Quran was recited, the masjid was built, the car was sold, two hands were washed, the migrators were helped. So helping was it, whoever did, who, who was the doer here, Ansar, the helpers, they helped. Zainab washed the hand, Qasim bought or, or sold the sayyara. Uthman built the masjid, have some memorized the Quran or recited the Quran, Zaid ate the apple, but these doers are not mentioned, rather the knife file has been mentioned, which, is, which was originally the uh, the, 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 the object, but you could see that their state changes from manfa'ul to marfu, tufahan becomes tufahun, al-Qur'ana becomes al quran okay, because they take the place of the doer, means we've deleted this line, you put them here. Then 
there are two different types that we read as well. To another way of looking at fi'il, the qismani or qismaini, we can say qisma al-fi'il or qismai al-fi'il. Both ways fine. This is my, you can say a'ni qismai al-fi'il or ubayinu lakum qismai al-fi'il. So you can make it mansub from that angle, but qisma al fail is fine as well, qismani. And you remember when it is marfu', then it is ani for tasmiya. And you have to drop that noon when it is mudaf to another ism. So al fail is ism. Although remember the al fail, although when you see fail, you might think that this is fail. This is not fail. This is the, the word fail, and that is an ism. How do you know it's ism? There's al there anyway. Okay. Al cannot appear on a noun, or on a, a verb. It is always there on a noun. So this is is noun. Lazim and mutaddi. Lazim when the action does not require an object. He sat. He stood. I ate. I drank. I went. I came. They came. All, all of those actions, they do not require an external agent for that action to come into existence. Whereas for muta'addi, the action is done on some, something. You cannot do that action. That action cannot come into being without having a, a thing or, or an object or some external thing, place, whatever. Some agent has to be there which would take over that action means the action is now transited to that person, transmitted to that person, that individual, that thing. So I ate, if I say I ate, I sat, it's fine. I don't need to have anything. But if I wanted to eat something, the action of eating cannot be manifested until I have something that I could eat. There has to be something that I could drink, I drank. Sitting and standing, it's fine. I do not need to, I can sit down, even on the ground, wherever. Okay? So that's what it means. Muta'addi, the action has been carried forward. And that, that is how you get the action out. Muta'addi also means contagion. You know, so when the disease can go on to someone else, pass on to someone else. File performs the action on its own. There's no need for any object. So Jalasa Ahmad, Ahmad sat, Ahmad can sit, Hind can stand up, so Qamat Hindun, Hind stood up. Whereas with Muta'addi, you have to have an object. Dawood killed Jalud, David killed Goliath. So this David is the doer, but he needs someone to be killed. That action would not exist if there was no Goliath, that particular action. Okay. Ittakhad Bayta. So this is about Ankabut. Ankabut is, this is these are from Quranic, uh, these are from Quranic bits, from Quranic ayah. So ittakhazat baytahu al-ankabut. Ankabut is a feminine word. Sima'an. We, we heard it as being feminine. So the the uh, so she, the, the Ankabut, took a house, built a house. Okay, built a house. Spider, the spider built a house. So the house has to be there to be built. You can't build something unless that thing is being mentioned there as well. Okay, likewise for mudare, what is mudare? Mudare, which denotes a future and present tense. And there are four signs of mudare. You've done Maudi, this is now Mudari. Na'ti. Na'ti means we came. Ata ya'ti, ata means he came. And uh, ya'ti, he comes or he will come. And in Mudari, same way you can say, ya'ti, ya'ti, yani, ya'ti, yuna means ya'tuna. Ta'ti, ta'ti, yani, ta'tu, ya'tina. Ta'ti, ta'ti, yani, ta'tuna. Ta'tina, ta'ti, yani, ta'tina, a'ti, na'ti. So na'ti means we come or we will come. We come or we will come, Nati. So just remember that noon, Hamza, Ta, and Ya. Or you can say Atain. 
attain alif ta ya noon those women came attain hamza ta ya noon okay these are put at the beginning of a verb and these are the signs of mudariya how do you want to make it if you want to make it a negative sentence so you just add la so a'budu becomes la a'budu you remember you said abada abada abadu abadat abadata abadna abadta abadtu ma abadtu ma abadti abadtu ma abadtuna abadtu abadna that was madi then you have to go for mudari ya'budu ya'budani ya'buduna ta'budu ta'budani ya'buduna ta'budu ta'budani ta'buduna ta'budina ta'budani ta'budna a'budu na'budu so a'budu yaqul ya ayyul kafirun la a'budu i do not worship I will not worship both ways. A'budu. Yeah? A'budu. You can sometimes put ma as well as opposed to la. Like ma ya'lamu. Ma ya'lamu hum illa Allah. No one knows except for Allah. So ma ya'lamu means he would not know. Or does not know. If you want to make mudari specific to future, istiqbal, mustaqbalan, you want to make it in future, then you have to use either sawfa before it, sawfa, and or sa. So if you say sayaftahu, so it becomes mudari, becomes future specific. You can't say now he does open or he opens. No, the translation will be he will open because seen is for future. So if he will soon open. Like why so ta'alamun, you will come to know soon, like in future. You can't translate with seen and sofa as present anymore. So mudari becomes future specific. And if you wanted to add a damir, which is pronoun, it would be a mudaf ilay. So with ism, you remember that if there is an ism and then dhami, alladina hum an salatihim salah, salatihim, their prayer, mudaf mudafile sahun. If the same dhami, which is huwa humahum, any of those, or even the other ones, are attached to a verb, then it becomes an object. Khalaqa, he created kum you so you become maf'ul and min nafsin wahida mausuf sifah nafs is mu'annas that's why wahidatin min is harfija that makes it into preposition that makes it into a majroor state mausuf sifah becomes majroor of min and together they get connected to khalaqa they are hooked onto khalaqa they call muta'allaqat muta'allaqat okay they get clung onto this khalaqa. Khalaqa kum means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you min nafsin wahida from single soul, one being. Alladina atayna hum, those who we gave them the book. Okay, atayna hum. Hum is the maf'ool. Khalaqa kum. Kum is the maf'ool. Okay, so remember if these pronoun, huwa, huma, huma, any pronoun from that category is attached to a noun, it becomes mudaf, mudaf, I mean, the noun will be mudaf and the pronoun will be mudaf, ilay. If it is attached to a verb, it becomes fa'il and maf'ul, fi'il and maf'ul. Fi'il, verb is fi'il, and it becomes a maf'ul. The pronoun becomes maf'ul. Okay, let's do some practice. Uh, what are you reading in madrasa? What are you reading? Mada taqra'u fil madrasa. Okay, mada taqra'u fil madrasa. So, mada you read. Is it lazim or muta'addi? You can't read until and unless you have something to read. That is why aqra'u, I read, tasheel al-adab. To read, you have to have something to read. You look at the book and read, even if you read from your memory. So you've got maf'ul there. 
أقرأ تسهيل الأدب I read تسهيل الأدب هل تعرف أخي Do you know my brother Do you know my brother The knowing is the action or recognizing So you cannot recognize someone unless you have someone to look at or find out. You cannot identify or recognize without having some external thing or agent. So this is تقرأ becomes متعدي تعرف becomes متعدي هل يفتح باب البستان اليوم Will the garden be open today? Is the garden of is the door of the garden open today is or will be both way you can make it because there's no scene or sofa there but it's majhul form yuftahu yuftahu la yuftahu babul bustani al-yawm today the door is not open of the garden door of god of the garden likewise where did the shop where the doorkeeper go i do not know where he went aina dhahab al-bawab Zahaba, when he went, he doesn't need anything other than walking out. He went out. Zahaba, this is lazim, means he does not need an object. La a'rifu ayna zahaba, I don't know where he went. Hal tadhabu linnuzhat al-yawm? Did he go for a stroll today? Linnuzha, nuzha is stroll. Tadhabu, did you go? La a'adhabu linnuzhat al-yawm? اليوم لا أذهب للنزهة اليوم يا أخي no I did not go to the stroll today oh my brother to لازم when you go out you do not need an external agent هل أكل محمود الطعام did محمود eat food ما أكله حتى الآن he hasn't eaten yet he hasn't eaten it yet سيأكله he will surely eat when he will eat it soon, like when in, in future. Ma ta'budun. So this is muta'addi. Why? Because to eat, you have to have something that you would eat to make the action come into existence of eating. Ma ta'budun. Who do you worship? La na'budu illa Allah. We do not worship other than Allah. So again, this is muta'addi. Action is done on. There has to be a creator to be worshipped. What are you asking of us? We are only asking for a book. Mother Tasaluna Minna. What do you what are you asking? Tasaluna. If you're asking something, you have to ask someone, the individual. You can't ask on your own. There has to be somebody that you ask a question. Nasalumin kumul kitab fakat. We are asking you a book only. Which book do you want? Are you kitabin tatlubuna minna from us? Which book do you want from us? Again, you talab, you do something you seek something, you have to have someone else to help you with that, that action to come into being. نَطْلُبُ مِنْكُمُ الْكِتَابَ سِيرَةُ nabi. We are looking from you, we are seeking from you a book, the book called سِيرَةُ nabi. So you can make it mansub as well if you want to make it a badal, but otherwise you can just make it a general thing. The name of the book as in parenthesis. هَلْ تَقْرَأُونَ الْقُرْآنَ كُلَّ يَوْمْ Do you read Quran every day? So you can't read unless there is something to be read. نعم نقرأ جزء منه كل يوم. Yes, we read a portion, a juice from it every day. Okay. An important rule. In verbal sentence, جملة فعلية, the verb always remains singular, but the doer of the action is dual or plural. So that's the key. However, for a masculine doer, the verb will be masculine. For a feminine doer, the verb will be feminine. The example would clarify it. Unlike nominal sentence, jumla ismiya, the verb changes according to the number of the doer of the action. And it would also correspond with the gender as well. Okay, so masculine for masculine, feminine for feminine, as it would be with jumla fi'liya. But jumla ismiya is different than jumla fi'liya with regards to the number of doers. If they're, depending on the number of doers, you would have the same number of doers doing that same, unlike this. Jumla failure. Example would clarify. So see, a, bo a, a boy wrote. So kataba waladun. A boy wrote. And you want to say 
two boys wrote. So kataba, see, kataba remains kataba. You do not change kataba into kataba, katabu. You do not do that. Because this is jumla failure. And failure, it remains the same, singular. Now you can change it to masculine, oh, sorry, masculine and feminine, depending on who the doer is. If it is muzakkar, you change it into kataba. If it is muannas, waladatun, or ibnatun, you would say katabat. So that's fine, that's okay. But it has to be singular. The verb in the beginning, in jumla fi'liya, which should be the case, it should always be singular, okay? Kataba awladun, see? The children, many boys, they wrote, it's still kataba, not katabu. Here it would be jumla ismiya, there it would be in keeping with the number of people doing that action because here it is jumla ismi. Al waladu, the boy, kataba wrote. Al waladani, two boys, kataba with alif, kataba, kataba, katabu, abada, abada, abadu. So they are same gada. Al awladu, plural, so likewise, katabu. Yeah, they all wrote. Many boys wrote. It should correspond. Another for feminine, katabat bintun. A girl wrote. Katabat bintani, two girls wrote. Katabat remains katabat. Only the femininity of the ta of femininity is being added. Otherwise, it's singular, same. Katabat banat, the, the daughters wrote. Many girls wrote. If you want to make a jumla ismiya, you bring the, mukta, the, the you know, a muqtada there, which is with ma'rifa state. Al. So you say, al bintu katabat. Al bintani, two of them, katabata, al banatu, katabna. Okay, so you just correspond. In jumla ismiya, in jumla failure, it is always singular. Okay. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi, wa akhtila fi layli wal nahari, wal fulki lati tajri fi al bahri, bima yanfa'u al nasa, wa ma anzal Allahu min al samai min ma'in, fa ahya bihi al arda ba'da mawtiha, wa batha fiha min kulli dab, wa tasrif al riyahi, wa al sahabi al musakhari bain al samai wal ardi, la ayatil li qawmi ya'qilun. Read this on your own and identify each of these. What are they? What state they are in? What is them? What is happening with that? All the rules that you have learned so far, apply to them and then come up with your answer. So I've done one for you. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa akhtilafi layli wal nahar. Inna harfim mushabbah bil fail. Inna annaka anna lakinna layta la'alla. You've done that in your surf previous lessons. Fi is harfijar. So you can write down there, which is preposition. Khalqi is ism, which is masdar actually in this case. Ism is a type of ism masdar. And it's Marifa or Nakira? It's actually Marifa. Why? Because it is mudaf to As-Samawat. Khalq samawat Creation of the heavens. Creation of the skies. So this is mudaf, mudaf ilay. So when it is mudaf and mudaf ilay, the Nakira becomes Marifa, mudaf ilay, Marifa. That's why it's Masdar, Marifa. And it's Majroor because of Fi. And it's mudaf. And As-Samawat is Ism. And his ma'rifa is jama mu'annas, obviously. And it is in majroor state. And it is mudaf. Okay. Wa harfi ataf. The connection, conjunction. Al-ardi, ism. Okay, al-ard. And it's ma'rifa because of al. It's wahid, singular. And it's feminine. And it's majroor because of mudaf ilay of khalqi. Creation of the heavens and the earth. And so Again, harfiat of wa, which is waqtila fil layl. In fi khalqi samawat fi iqtila fil layl. Again, this is harfiat of two fi here. And in the changing of from being day to light day to night. So that ikhtilaf, that changing is mudaf as well. So it's masdar and it is ma'rifa because it's mudaf ila ma'rifa. Al-layl, yeah. Majroor because of fi, fi is making this majroor as well as it is making khalqi majroor. 
these are majroor because of mudafilay, mudafilay, mudafilay. But this is majroor because of harfijar, harfijar. The fi is acting on both of those. So like harfi ataf and an naharis, again, majroor because it is mudafilay. So if you did, did it like this, it will be very useful, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, let's leave that there and let's have a quick look at other books which we haven't got a chance to go through for some time. Okay. At-Tadribu Rabia. Hatil Musanna. Bring the plural. Misal Awal. Which is Rajulun. Tathniya is Rajulani. And you know it. Misal Sani. Sani. Fustan. The frock. The, the dress. Fustanani. Okay. In Marfu state. Kitab. Kitabani. Tabibun. Tabibani. Maqad. Maqadani. Baytun. Baytani. Jaddatun jaddatani, now it's feminine. Shauka, fork, shaukatani. Ibna, ibnatani. Mil'aqa, mil'aqatani. Two of those. Haqibah, haqibatani. Thallaja, refrigerator, thallajatani. Complete this. Now this is, so you remember there are <clears throat> cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Car Dinal numbers, cardinal numbers, and they are ordinal numbers. And the difference between cardinal is so one, two, three, four is cardinal number, and ordinal number is first, second, third, fourth. Okay, so first, second, third, fourth, which is ordinal number. So we're talking about ordinal number, akmil, complete, atabiq. الطابق الأول not not واحد we're not talking first in fact not it's not, it's not first first is starting at the bottom I didn't see the picture fully it's a building so go from bottom الطابق الأول is here first floor first level الطابق الثاني الطابق الثالث الطابق الرابع yeah so اثنان واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة become أول ثاني ثالث رابع remember that that's the distinction so at tabiqul khamis, yeah, not khamsa anymore. Khamis. At tabiqul tasi. Sorry, this is sixth, fifth, fifth, sixth. Sadis. Sixth is called from this uh, from sitta, they just say sadis. Okay, why did this is how they do? At tabiq al sabiya. At tabiq al thamin. At tabiq al what is this one? Nine. Tasi. And then aashi. And the topic, al, which one is that one? Eleventh, okay. Ahada, ashara. To one, to al, ihda al ihda al ashar. Ahada al ashar, okay. Good, eleventh. Tadrib al asadis. The sixth exercise. Ajib kama fil misal. Answer as in the example. Misal. Aina hujratun naum. Naum. Where is the sleeping room? Hujratun naumi ala al yameen. Hujratun naum is on the right side. Aina al matbakh. Al matbakhu ala al yasar. On the left side maybe. Aina al mirat. Where is the mirror? Al miratu ala al jidar. On the wall. Aina al-kutubu wal-majallat, where are the books and the magazines or the papers, newspapers. Al-kutubu wal-majallat ala al-mindada, on that stool, or on that small cabinet. Aina al-thurayya, where is the chandelier? Al-thurayya ala al-saqf, on the ceiling. Ain al bisatu wal minbada. Where were the carpets and the minbada, the 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 stool? Al bisatu wal minbada tu. Where were they? Hmm. But they must be on one side or the other. Ah, you can say. Amam al amam al nafida, or tahta al nafida, under the window. Or in front of the window, or al yamin on the right side, or 
in the in the bab or by the door. Okay, depending on where it was. Aina Zahriya, where was the vase? Fawq al on the on that small table, side table. At Tadribu Sabiya. Akmil, complete. Al al dash, kutubun wa majalatun wa jaraid. Al al mindadati. On the mindada, Allah would make it majroor. Al al mindadati, kutubun wa majalatun wa jaraid. Very monsive, that's why it doesn't take the mean. Jaraid. Al al jidari, on the wall is miratun wa raffun. A mirror and the rough, the shelf. Ijaru al bayti al furialin fi shahr. In one month, what is the monthly rent? Ijarul Bayt, rent of the house is Alfu Riyal in 1000 Riyal fi shahr in a month, in the month. Al Baytu fi Shari al Mazid al Haram, the house is on the street, Mazid al Haram street. Yeah. Baytu Bakr in Qaribu min al Mazid, the house of Bakr is near the Mazid. Fil Bayti, Thalasu Hujurat, or however many, three rooms. Al -al Mindadati Zahriyatun Kabira on the Mindada on the side stool, a, a big vase. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. Hila to Shaitan, Shaitan's plot. Well, I can the Shaitan of what the Baban yet the Hulu Minhu Ilaru Sinas. But Shaitan found Wajada. What did he find? Baban, a door. Okay, Mansoor, because he found it. Yadhulu minhu, where he can enter through, where? Ila ru'usin nas, to the head of people, people's head. He can go into the, their mind through that. Kana rijalun yakhafun Allah. People used to fear Allah. Wa ya'budunahu laylan wa nahara. And they used to worship him night and day. Wa yadhkurunahu dhikran kathira. They would remember him, mean Allah. A lot of remembrance. And they used to love, they loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah was loving them. Allah loved them as well. And Allah would answer them. And he would answer them. And people used to love them. And they would respect and honor them as well. The shaitan knew this very well because those pious people, those people used to love them, people used to love Allah, and they used to love Allah. It's like, you know, these pious people become more of a center of reverence because they were godly, they were pious. So then they, these people died. And they transferred me, they were they migrated me, they moved on to the mercy of Allah, I mean they died. Zahaba Shaytanu ilan nas, Shaytan came to the people, Wazaka Haula in Haula Irijal, and he remembered, he remembered these these men. Remember those men nice and you know. This is the bab that he opened, Shaytan. The people loved those pious men. And he came to them and he said, you know, those men were really amazing, amazing. He would say, he said to them, how was he so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so so -and -so among them? They said, oh, subhanallah, qalu subhanallah, all glory be to Allah. Rijalullahi wa uliya'u, the men of Allah and Allah's favorite slaves and his friends. Ulaika idha da'aw ajabahum. These are whenever they make dua, whenever they made dua, Allah will respond to the dua. وَإِذَا سَأَلُوا And whenever they ask for anything, أَعْطَاهُمْ Allah would provide them. سُورُ الصَّالِحِينَ قَالَ shaytan The images of the pious people. قَالَ shaytan shaytan said, كَيْفَ حُزْنُكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ How is your grief over them? قَالُوا شَدِيدٌ They said, very strong, very, you know, it's quite severe. Then Shaitan said, How is your longing to them? It's 
great, we want to, we're longing to be with them, we want to see them. So why don't you look at them every day? How could we do that? Where is, how could that be? How could there be a way to it? Literally means, literally it means how, the way to it. How could there be a way towards it? While they've died, while they just passed away. Shaitan said, Make a picture for them. And look at that picture every day. All those pictures you would have in front of you. You can remind yourself of them. The people like the idea or the opinion of Iblis. And they made pictures of righteous people. And they used to look at those pictures every day. And when they would look at these pictures, they would remember these righteous people. We'll leave it there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.